Good afternoon, Tallahassee. I'm student meteorologist Ian Cassette. And I'm student meteorologist Coral Arroyo with your weather for this lovely Monday. Coral, how was the weekend? It was great. You know, I had a fun time. Went to the Notre Dame game and that was pretty intense. Yeah, was, uh, that was an incredible game. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was marching chiefs too, so. And it was a great halftime show. Yeah, it was awesome. Did Beyonce? Little, little Beyonce dancing, <laughs> little Sasha Fierce out there for me. But yeah, it was, it was a fun game. And great weather to enjoy it as well. Wow, it was, I mean, the weather all day really was fantastic and fantastic for tailgating and for the game. Yeah, uh, I know us, the band members, like, we hate those hot, humid days. <laughs> and so it was nice. It was calm. Like, we could do everything. Everything was fun. And, you know, full uniform is no, no easy task, but it was absolutely beautiful and absolutely enjoyable. Yeah, and it was cool later on in the night. It wasn't too cold. I mean, it was a little bit of a drop-off, but I felt comfortable out there. No really complaints there. No, it was fun. It was fun all around, and I'm glad we got the win. Yeah, and we have uh, great weather in our forecast as well, too. Yeah, we do. I'm hoping all this good weather continues on for the rest of the week because I, I'm liking it. You know, it was like nice and warm during the day and a little cool at night, and, you know, a little stroll and a midnight jog. And we get a break from uh, from having a game this week, too, to let our emotions drop back down to our normal level. Yeah, <laughs> but let's recover a little bit. And, you know, and speaking of recovery, let's send it out to Matthew with the overview and this beautiful weather we yeah. have right now. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I've been definitely doing a lot of recovery. I think I got a few extra gray hairs from that Notre Dame game this past weekend. But the recovery is going to be easy because the weather is going to be beautiful. Here's our overview of our satellite and our radar composite. Just a couple of few clouds over the Gulf of Mexico associated with a disturbance we'll be talking about later in the show. And then a few spotty showers way down here in South Florida impacting the Keys again. But we're looking beautiful uh, like we have been for the last uh, few days. Current conditions as you walk outside for maybe those possible evening classes. 82 degrees, a couple of clouds outside, which we haven't seen a few clouds in, in over a week now. So if you see the clouds again, it should be interesting. A uh, few clouds, dew point 60 degrees, humidity 47%, and just a little bit of wind out there. So it's beautiful once again, and it'll continue to be beautiful throughout the week. But let's get into our headlines to see what we're talking about. Clear night ahead. Another sunny day tomorrow and just a little bit cooler as we push on into the week. But for now, let's send it back to Coral and Ian to tell us more. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, thanks. Now, Coral, uh, I heard you're a little sick right now. Just a little bit. I had the flu over the weekend. On top of the fighting the Irish, I was fighting the flu. So <laughs> I have a lot to deal with this weekend. Yeah, well, I mean, we have a little bit of information here for you about the influenza virus and why it spreads during this time of the year. Um, according to the CDC, the cold season, or flu season rather, is from starting this month all the way to April. So a long season for you there. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm kind of glad I got it out of the way this time around. Yeah, like early on, wave. don't have to deal with it later. So, But yeah. it's a long season, all the way to April. I didn't yeah. even know that. And the reason for it, they believe, is that the virus itself, it's a theory, but the virus itself strengthens during this time of the year, and it's able to go from one person to the next, whereas in the summer, the air is warmer and it's more humid and that virus drops towards the ground so it's less transmissible. So yeah. you don't have to deal with it during the summer. But. Yeah, which is great because we're all out and about in the sun and enjoying everything. But yeah, you know, let's get through this cool breeze time with the flu season. But other than that, look at those temperatures right now. 82 degrees, dew point 60, so it's just a tad muggy out there for us with the humidity 47%. So we're not dealing with too much bad weather right now. I'd beg to say it's absolutely beautiful and you can see it says mostly cloudy but there's very few clouds lots of sunshine out there so a lot to enjoy as of right now local radar showing absolutely nothing a couple, a couple pop-up storms way down in the Gulf but lots of sunshine for the state of Florida as it's finally living up to its name of the sunshine state so that's all good news for us and we're definitely enjoying all this weather now water vapor you can see we're right in this light grayish area so there's some moisture in the atmosphere but not too much way to our south we do have a little system developing as I'll we'll talk about later in the tropic update but that's going to be a little more moisture than we're used to but that's not going to be heading into our area because we have a dry cold front coming in which I'll get to in just a second so going through you have our future cast and let it show that BAM abundant sunshine all across our area in the state of Florida so definitely enjoying some nice warm temperatures and everything's going to be fine and dandy and a beautiful start to the week especially recovering from that Notre Dame game but as we push aside, we're going to have this high pressure system kind of lead this cold front down into our area. But it, I want to stress, it's a, it is a dry cold front. So conditions 
No rain, it's just going to be a little dry, but it's going to cool us down just a little bit. So we're going to be getting a nice little refresher here for Wednesday into the midweek and continue to enjoy that as conditions continue. Tonight's forecast, 55 degrees, cool and clear, dry conditions, which is actually pretty normal whenever you have a high pressure system. You're going to be seeing nice warm highs, but a little cool low. So make sure you have your sweater if you're headed out this week at all, because it's definitely going to be up and down roller coasters in regards to temperatures. So all that is going to be nice. So make sure you enjoy. Go have a nice visit to a park. Tomorrow's forecast, 84 degrees, as I said. Plenty of sunshine in the area, beautiful conditions. Go out to a park. If you're going out between classes, if you have a break, go sit on land. It's, it's absolutely beautiful outside. And, you know, it's fall. Might as well still continue that tanning trend because, hey, we're not going to have too much more of it any much longer. And, you know, conditions are just right. So everyone's going to be having a wonderful week. No rain to speak of this week at all. So it's absolutely beautiful. And going into the seven-day forecast, you can see sunshine just sticks around in our area. We'll have temperatures 84 degrees tomorrow and into the 80s on Wednesday. And you can see the temperatures continue to cool down into the 50s. So that's going with that high pressure trend we have. And then once that cold front comes through, we'll be seeing a light cool down into the upper 70s with everything. But yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Everything's nice. And uh, we're going to send it out to Paxton with the Southeast. Thank you, Coral. It is very nice outside today, and that will be continuing tomorrow and for the remainder of the week, where you saw in that seven days full of sunshine, which is just fantastic. Looking across all of the region, you can see that we are quite mild out there in the 70s and lower 80s for Tallahassee. So the, these temperatures, they are rising, and they are bringing back in that humidity and all of that. For the 24-hour temperature change, we are 4 degrees warmer this time today than we were yesterday. And we are warmer across this whole region as compared to this weekend, which was nice outside. It was lovely, but the sun is getting into our area and heating things up in, for our region. Radar is showing we're pretty much clear around Florida. We have some few, a few offshore showers and around Orlando and also in the Gulf, in the Gulf area. So those showers will not be making it onshore, so there's nothing for us to worry about. So it's going to stay dry throughout the night and into tomorrow as well. Our, our current relative humidity, it is 47 in Tallahassee. So we are still below 50%, which is great. It's not that bad out, but they are creeping back up there. So we will be feeling the mugginess later on tomorrow as well until that dry cold front comes through later on this week. As you can see from this future cast, it's going to bring these all this sunshine and this high pressure system is going to drag this little cold front down into our area and it's going to create drier conditions for us and a little bit less humidity so we're not going to be in those 40s either. For tonight's forecast we are 54 in Tallahassee so it is a lot cooler or a lot warmer rather than what we experienced yesterday and this weekend when we were in the 40s so, but it's still cool enough for you to bring your jacket and all of that so make sure you do have that with you. For tomorrow, it is going to be a little hot, something we haven't seen in quite some time, the mid-80s, which we're not used to anymore. We like those upper 70s to those low 80s, so 85 and sun is going to probably feel a little warmer than that as well as the humidity and that moisture is in our area. But for right now, we are going to go hand this back over to the desk. Thanks, Paxton. Now, Ian, I felt like September was a bit of a warm month, you know, we're in October and we're cooling down, but I felt like the heat has stuck around a lot this year. It definitely felt like that. I thought it was a little bit on the warmer side yes, last month and it's still kind of, I mean, it's been cool, but I feel like it could be colder at this time of the year. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's actually on trend with what the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has been saying. This was, September was the warmest September we've had on record ever. Ever? Ever. In wow. 135 years they've been keeping temperatures and this was the warmest September. Since 1880. That is incredible. Wow, that is. And uh, apparently, in fact, that May, June, and August, I believe, were all the hottest. They all could, had the hottest record and September went ahead and beat it with, uh, I think it was the average of 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's, that's, that's some pretty mild September. That's, <laughs> what is that, four months now in the year of 2014? Yeah, so it has been a warm year so far, and uh, Noah believes that if this continues, this trend, we may have the hottest year ever recorded on average for the world. Oh, well, that's, that's not good news, I guess, on our part. But <laughs> we'll go ahead and send things out on the national with Jake. All right, thanks, guys. And, uh, 
Wow, it's pretty interesting to hear about how warm things have been over the past month. I, I remember discussing August was equally as warm on the record books, but for right now, things are not that extreme anyway. I mean, we have 82 in San Antonio, and then on the other end, Minneapolis seeing 62 degrees, and then Miami stay in the hot spot at 75 in the Panhandle, 81 in Tallahassee. But temperatures don't appear extreme. But when you take an average like that, things can really see that the, the average gives a better look at things like that. Uh, but uh, aside from the coming cold front, which is the story we're going to be focusing on, it's going to be sunny skies. So taking a look at the UV index, as we head south, things go into the 5 and 6 range, even over here into the Panhandle of Florida's uh, tri-state region and up north. Things are lower as we expect. So got to keep your eye on the UV index. Not too extreme, but you want to remember your sunscreen and things like that as you're heading out. Not a whole lot going on in the west. We do have some cloud cover precipitation over in the Seattle region, but the biggest story on the national right now is this cold front moving over, extending from Vermont all the way down to the Memphis region. And this is, gonna, this is a big playmaker, and it's not really that much of a playmaker. We're going to see a few showers from it, but mostly just a dry cold front that's going to be bringing our temperatures down in the next few days. Uh, the winds, we do have some, most notably, some lake effect snow going on near the Detroit region. You take a look right here, 13 miles per hour right over the lake. So that's going to provide the conditions for the snow that we're seeing in that region, along with the cold temperatures being followed through by the cold front moving down. And this gives a better look at the precipitation values. Not a whole lot to talk about, to be honest. Moving on towards the east over in uh, Washington, D.C. Then over here, we take a look at Seattle. Still, that, there's the precipitation I just mentioned, but pretty dry and sunny throughout the nation right now. Take a quick look at the big playmaker moving off towards the east, moving over Tennessee right now, and Kentucky, bringing uh, precipitation and cloud cover throughout those regions, but not much more to talk about. Moving up north, we take a look at the lake effect snow moving off towards the east, moving off of Detroit right now. It's more north into the Canadian provinces right now, but still providing precipitation as the wind flow is steered in that direction. So not much going on around the nation right now. Pretty uh, sunny, and things are going to continue as this cold front moves off, brings not a lot of moisture, but cooler temperatures, not colder temperatures. Taking a look at the temperatures for the next, for tomorrow anyway, 84 in Dallas, 84 San Antonio, over there in Seattle, 63. So not much different from today. Over there, much warmer in Miami, though, 86. A little bit warmer in Tallahassee, 85 degrees. And then moving off towards, uh, ton well, tonight's going to be much of the same. Just going to be 50s and 40s throughout the nation, including down in the tri-state and southeast region. But for now, we're going to take, take a look at the local conditions around Tallahassee with Ian. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Now, looking into uh, our forecast here, our forecast here is looking great. We've dealt with some a uh, little bit warmer temperatures today, but it still felt great with those lower humidity uh, levels. We see Tallahassee right now, 81 degrees, 86, a little bit warmer in Quincy at you know, 86 degrees, Bainbridge 81, cooler on the coast in Apalachicola at 79 degrees. But for the most part, warm temperatures but comfortable outside with those lower humidity uh, levels. Reading out here with the current dew points, when you see it below 70, you know you're feeling great. 59 in Tallahassee, 59 in Quincy, 63 in Perry, like 69. So it's 60s and 50s all around our local area. So everyone's pretty much feeling perfect as we don't have those high humidity marks that are giving us those warmer temperatures, feeling that sticky mugginess that we get with the, the higher dew points. Futurecast shows those winds are going to continue out of the north as we go on into the night. You can see here overnight those winds are going to continue from the north, which is going to be giving us those colder temperatures when the temperatures drop off into the 50s overnight into Wednesday. It's going to continue. The winds will be out of the north, giving us maybe a little bit warmer temperatures during the day as the land, uh, land breeze kind of gives us uh, some daytime heating. But for the most part, at night will be cool and it will be feeling a bit on the nippy side. So dealing with those winds for the next couple of days. But the future cast shows we have pretty much nothing really changing. Maybe a little bit drier air coming in our forecast, but it's going to be sunshine abundant going on into Tuesday. So starting out this week, we are going to be sunny and we're going to continue on with that trend 
as we have a, a cold front that will be a dry cold front that will be moving into our area. You can see the cold front into Wednesday will be bringing itself across overnight, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, bringing us drier conditions uh, Wednesday. Now, drier conditions means that these will be temperatures that will be pretty much the same during the day, but during the night, uh, we're going to be feeling definitely a little bit cooler. Uh, not too cold, but you're going to feel a difference as those humidity levels drop off even more. Beach forecast shows for one foot or less, the waters are a little bit colder, 82 degrees. So it might not be the best for going out there if you like those warmer waters, but the uh, UV index is rather high at 11, so make sure you're wearing sunscreen if you're going out to the beach. On the water, protected waters are smooth with plentiful sun sunshine, so fantastic weather for you if you want to go outside as the, win <laughs> the winds will be low and the temperatures will be rather on the mild side. Tonight's forecast shows cool and clear with calm conditions, so fantastic uh, but if you do not like those cold temperatures, unfortunately, that will be persisting into the night with 55 degrees in Tallahassee, 56 in St. Mark's, so mid-50s, but nothing too crazy. Tomorrow's forecast shows continuing conditions within the mid-80s, 84 in Tallahassee, 83 in Quincy. A warm afternoon is expected with north winds. And as you go on to the seven-day forecast, you can see those conditions are going to continue as we go on with warmer temp or warm temperatures during the week, but it will be dropping off after that cold front as it brings in dry air. But we're going to send it back to the desk with more. All right, thanks, Ian. And, uh, speaking of all the warmer temperatures we heard from the desk segment earlier, actually, if we take a look at weather history for today's date, pretty similar stuff going on, at least back in 1989, 49 cities recording record low, uh, record low temperatures in one night. Wow. Well, you know, it is fall. It's getting later in October, but and whenever you're thinking about this time of year, you're thinking about football weather, uh, like that crisp air when you're out on Halloween. So it's not too surprising, but 49 cities their all-time low. Oh, uh, Little Rock actually recorded the earliest freezing date they've ever recorded since they started taking rec uh, you know, recordings in the season. So the earliest time they ever saw freezing temperature overnight was, was during 1989 in this event. That is a kind of a big deal. You know, Arkansas is part of the South, just like we are here in Florida. They see a lot of warmer uh, temperatures, much like Florida. Not as, not as warm, but they so, still are in the South, you know, so that's and surprising. Even, and even on the flip side, uh, year before, ironically, 1988, mm -hmm. California saw the uh, temperatures reaching uh, upper 90s, almost 100 degrees, as their recorded lows in some regions. Oh my gosh, well that sounds like California, but again, that's not what we want here for this time of year. Again, it's not football weather, it's not trick-or-treat weather. That doesn't fit in October, so we're just glad that we're, that's not happening here. Oh yeah, but uh, enough of that. Let's actually take a look at the local segment with uh, Josh right now. Hi guys, wonderful to see you guys too. Oh man, 81 degrees right now in Tallahassee. Let's get to the current temperatures. 75 in Pensacola, 78 in Jacksonville, 83 in Orlando, 80 degrees in Tampa. It's generally nice across the Sunshine State right now and really we've been having that reinforcement of cooler and drier air yesterday. So our highs were in the upper 70s yesterday here, mainly around 80 degrees yet again yesterday in Tampa. So generally comfortable weather this time of day. And uh, you can see that temperature change I was mentioning. We were in the upper 70s yesterday, so about four degrees warmer than we were yesterday this time. Tampa is actually four degrees cooler, so that's actually pretty nice. Nine degrees warmer in Jacksonville as well for the past 24 hours. Radar, not much, not too much going on across Florida right now. Mainly Miami is the one getting hit the most. Down in South Florida, plenty of moisture coming in from the south across the uh, Gulf Stream right there. But generally quiet across the rest of Central Florida and switching north to our general region. You can see really fast moving stream of clouds to our south and that's associated with the area disturbed weather in the Bay of Campeche so but that's not really going to affect us in the short term because why we actually have this area of dry air to our north it's hard to see in this image here but just to our north there's a cold front and that's going to really push into our area on Wednesday so that's going to prohibit any of this deep moisture down to our south from pushing into our region so really the nice weather continues into the rest of this week and uh, into the weekend we'll watch a little bit more of that air disturbed weather as we get closer into next week but generally nice right now abundant sunshine of course plenty of nice conditions going all the way around for tonight 54 degrees in Tallahassee what we're calling for 58 in Pensacola 61 in Jacksonville 69 in Orlando and Tampa 69 together 70 in West Palm Beach and Fort Myers 75 in Miami so generally rather nice this time of year 54 really nice for Tallahassee for tomorrow 85 degrees in Tallahassee plenty of sunshine to go around 83 in Jacksonville 82 in Pensacola 
87 Orlando, 85 in Tampa. Showers and thunderstorms generally to the south once again, just like today across South Florida, but generally sunshine across much of the Big Bend region. But for now, we're going to give it to Daniel for the tropics. What's going on out there, buddy? Well, you know, we've had a pretty slow couple years here with the tropics, which is really good news for us because, you know, about 10 years ago, we were really getting hammered at over storm, storm just hitting us. But now we have one out there right now. We have this small disturbance just north of the Bay of Campeche, which really isn't going to do too much because, you know, we have that cold front coming through. It's just going to keep it to our south. So it's not really that going on. Also, the one that was in Hawaii is already gone and dissipated. There's another small one in the Atlantic. Nothing to worry about. That's going to dissipate in just a little bit also. But this one's going to move straight across Yucatan Peninsula, and it's going to enter the Atlantic, where we will see some good surf conditions. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But first, we're going to take a look at the water vapor for it. Uh, actually, a little bit closer look. You see that there's the, um, yeah, there's the Yucatan Peninsula. But here's the water vapor imagery of it. You know, you can just see it's starting to wind to build up right there, but, you know, the cold front's going to come through and just wipe that all away, so that's really good news for us there. Take a little bit closer look closer to home. Like Josh was saying, we have all this dry air around here. It's going to come with this front. It's going to push it, everything down to our south, so that little disturbance is just going to go right across Miami and out into the Atlantic, thankfully die out there, and not the other way around, because we usually see them come in through the Atlantic that way and then come up in the Gulf, which is not really good news for us. Yep, here we go, the satellite and radar imagery for us. You see these little pop-up showers, that is associated with that disturbance down there. So not really too much going on in our area, as you can see there. 24-hour temperature change, we got plus 4 in Tallahassee from yesterday. So this is really coming up just a little bit, because you know that front that passed has gone a little bit further. Now we're going to have another one coming through, which will drop those temperatures down a little bit, as you've seen on those seven days. Well, if I step out of the way, you can see down into the... Uh, peninsula that it's about the same there. Gainesville and Jacksonville, they're big winners at, um, at plus six and plus nine. And current temperatures right now, we have 81 in Tallahassee, 77 in Valdosta, 76 in Panama City, 75 in Pensacola. So really sitting all nice there and looking good. Well, tonight's forecast, there's a, this is not the Black Death up there, so don't worry about that. They are only seeing 50 in Montgomery. They're not going to see negative 50 or anything too crazy like that. Well, here in Tallahassee, we're going to have about uh, 54 degrees. Panama City is going to be about 57. To our south, Tampa is 69, so they're seeing some really nice conditions for tonight. Well, for tomorrow's forecast, we're going to have 85 degrees here. And it's a little bit warmer. You can see that we're going to have 82 in Pensacola, Panama City, all throughout the Panhandle, even to Mobile. Lastly, we're going to do the surf report, which is going to be, we're going to have some surf coming from this disturbance that's hanging out in the Gulf right now. We're not going to get too much in Pensacola because it's going to stay too far to the south down there. Panama City might see just a little bit, not too terribly much, but St. George is surprisingly going to see more than Pensacola and Panama City, which is really, really strange. They're going to have three to four on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's going to be clean because it's far enough away. It's not going to be too windy. And if I step out of the way here, Tampa is actually going to see some too, believe it or not. We're going to see five to six, but it might be a little bit blown out, might have a bad rip there. And the best spot is going to be Sebastian Inlet with 6 to 10 at the end of the week. Clean, but it will be blown out by the weekend. But for now, we're going to send it back to Donovan and Jake with more. All right, Daniel, thank you. We talked about the tropics a little bit there. Jake, let's talk about what's going on northwest of Hawaii right now. Oh, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in the western Pacific anymore. Uh, they just got through with their storm. But right now, Tropical Storm has been downgraded from Hurricane to Tropical Storm Ana. Currently moved west of Hawaii is going to... Uh, be making a little bit more noise in the next couple of days. Uh, currently downgraded, but it is heading for the French Frigate Shoals. This is an island chain northwest of Hawaii. It's expected to strengthen back up into a hurricane by Wednesday. So biggest uh, impacts we can expect, you know, storm surge. Uh, on islands, that's more of a threat, including, you know, rainfall, winds, all. You can, it's Cat 1 at this uh, current point to be projected. But you can't underestimate that just because it's not a Cat 5 or Major. So, you know, moving into the next few days, it's not going to be downgraded again until Saturday. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can't take that lightly. Uh, hurricanes are never, uh, you know, safe. So we're, we're keeping those people in our thoughts. But let's bring it back to Tallahassee and talk about what's going on locally. Let's do that. Right now, we're looking at our local radar, and we're not seeing anything out there. Again, we, we were talking about dry conditions last week. It's Monday. We're still sticking with our story. A lot of nothing basically going on outside. No rain, not even hardly any cloud coverage. Very sunny outside. A lot of good things going on in Tallahassee. 
Now let's talk about future, future temperatures for the Big Bend region. Up here in Valdosta, we're going to be at 71 for tonight around 8 o'clock. 74 in Perry, that's our hot spot. Besides, Apalachicola down here on the coast, they're seeing 75. They're not getting a lot of relief from a Gulf breeze, it looks like. Pretty warm uh, for 8 o'clock in the evening uh, for October. So we'll keep that in mind. Future cast temperatures for Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. 53 here in Tallahassee as you go out uh, to class and to work. 56 in, Paris, in Perry. Apalachicola will be at 61 degrees. Again, just staying very warm. Up there in Georgia, they're staying a little bit cooler up in the Peach State. Valdosta, 54. Thomasville, 52. Bainbridge, 50. Uh, Mariana is even going to be at 49. That's North Florida. Let's talk about now uh, future cast for tomorrow afternoon. By 3 p.m., we should see 79 here in Tallahassee. 79 on St. Mark's, 81 in Perry, very warm. Up in Valdosta, the rest of South Georgia, they're seeing upper 70s like we are. Again, Apalachicola staying very warm. And we're taking that even further with going into Wednesday morning. By the time Wednesday gets through, 58 here in Tallahassee, 61 in St. Mark's, 65 in Apalachicola. Very comfortable conditions over the next two days. So a lot of good things uh, going on here in the region as far as weather concerned. Uh, we're looking forward to the next couple of days. Here's our future cast dew points. 51 degrees here in Tallahassee, 52 Monticello, 55 Perry. These dew points, if you take your subtraction from your high temperatures to your dew point, that indicates how humid it is. It's not going to be very humid, especially not to what we have seen before. We've actually seen last week we saw 100% humidity. So very comfortable outside. It again is football season. If you have football practice, it should be pretty comfortable out there for that. And let's talk about that going into Tuesday, 50 in Tallahassee. Again, much of what we've seen today. And we're going to go into Wednesday and see, again, much of the same. We're actually going to be even drier, less humid. Here's our satellite and radar going up up until currently. Basically, a lot of nothing going on here in Tallahassee. The only thing that's going on really is down here. And this is due to a disturbance over towards Mexico. A whole lot of nothing going on in the Big Bend region. Future casts, again, we're just looking at that. No cloud coverage. A lot of sunshine, a lot of good things going on. Again, sunshine's abundant. Our guy over here, he's happy about that. A lot of good things going on in the region. And again, we talked about this high pressure system out west bringing in a dry cold front. So a lot of good things going on again in Tallahassee. And we're just taking a look at that dry air moving in and tonight's forecast. So Jake, a lot of good things going on here in Tallahassee. Oh, absolutely. Temperatures are gonna be absolutely wonderful over the next few days. As uh, the cold front moves through, things really start to cool down and clear out. But I heard you mention football season out there. We have a, another sport going on this Thursday, right? We do. We got our women's soccer team. They're going up to Chapel Hill, isn't that right? Oh, yeah. They're going to be taking on North Carolina. Right now, the record stands 14-1 and with FSU female so women's soccer. So, thing, uh, great opportunity. They've been going to the ACC championship, or ACC tournament, it's called, in the next few, next few games, right? Yeah, they are. And just like our football team, that's another... Uh, Seminole sports team that's just doing very well out there. They have, it sounds to me like they have a really good shot at a national championship this year. Oh, they're doing, they're doing great. Uh, you know, we kind of keep the spotlight on football, but great to look at the other sports too because we're all successful, but absolutely you know, temperatures. Yeah, let's look at that seven-day forecast. Again, tomorrow we're going to be at 84. We're cooling down for the next week with our lows staying pretty consistent, but a lot of good things here. Yeah, but you can follow us anytime, facebook.com, twitter.com, slash fsuweather or watch us anytime at livestream.com slash FSU weather. You know, I'm still trying to get over that Notre Dame game, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, we need that recovery this weekend. No football, but a, but a lot going on here in Tallahassee. A lot of promotions, a lot of things to do this right, weekend. I'm Jake Taylor. I'm Donovan Wiseman. Have a great night, everyone.